Well, governments are uh, scrutinizing very carefully these reports. Uh, but they have been reluctant for many, many years to take expensive action, apart from Britain and some other uh, European countries who've uh, unilaterally introduced very costly policies. I think the fact that we haven't seen any warming over the last 15 years will make governments even more reluctant to take any immediate action. They will kick this in the long grass and they have taken a wait-and-see approach. Countries are taking action. The UK is at the forefront, but the UK is not alone. We see action in places like China, the US, we don't see enough action, but we see countries starting to understand that it's in their interest to do these things. Uh, renewables, uh, renewable energy is actually something that, that is a success story in the whole climate change fight. We see renewable prices coming down, we see more and more countries investing in renewables. We are nowhere near where we want to be, um, but countries are starting to take this seriously and hopefully the IPCC report can give them a little bit more sort of scientific support to do that. The point is what they've thrown at the problem so far hasn't made any difference whatsoever to the climate, has only increased energy prices where these policies have been taken, is very unpopular. If you look at the temperature record, you can see that it's always been varying. There's been periods in the past where it's slowed down and speeded up, and it's just part of the normal natural variability of the climate. Um, of course, it's, um, when you predict into the future, you can't predict exactly when these variations are going to take place because it's all part of the chaotic system. I would reply as a mother to a three-month-old baby, um, rather than as a scientist, in fact. Um, what we're talking about, it's easy to get distracted by the numbers, but what we're talking about is essentially her lifetime and changes that will occur over her lifetime. And it causes me great concern knowing the scientific background and knowing the threats that are posed as a result of increases in greenhouse gases as to what kind of planet we're leaving for her to inherit.